There's no better day than today to enter into God's family. Our Daily Bread. Today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread Ministries was written by Po Fong Chia. Beep, 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 beep. The warning sound and flashing lights alerted commuters that the train door was about to close. Yet a few tardy individuals still made a frenzied scramble across the platform and onto the train. The door closed on one of them, but thankfully it rebounded and the passenger boarded the train safely. Have you ever wondered why people take such risks when the next train would arrive in a mere four minutes? But you know there's a far more important door that we must enter before it closes. It's the door of God's mercy. The Apostle Paul tells us in 2 Corinthians 6, Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Christ has come, died for our sins, and has risen from the grave. He has opened the way for us to be reconciled to God and has proclaimed for us the day of salvation. Today is that day, but one day the door of mercy will close. To those who received and served Christ, he will say, Come, you blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you. But those who don't know him will be turned away. The truth is, our response to Jesus Christ determines our eternal destiny. Today, Jesus invites us, I am the door. If anyone enters by me, they will be saved. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 18, through chapter 6, verse 2. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ, and gave us the ministry of reconciliation, that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sins against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors as though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. As God's co-workers, we urge you not to receive God's grace in vain. For he says, In the time of my favor I heard you, and in the day of salvation I helped you. I tell you, now is the time of God's favor. Now is the day of salvation. That's today's scripture reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 18 through chapter 6, verse 2. Now let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we praise you for your sacrifice that made it possible for us to be reconciled with God. Thank you for your gift of salvation. Please make us bold in telling others that they too can receive your grace and forgiveness. In your name we pray, Amen. Today's encouragement was brought to you from Our Daily Bread Ministries.